Hello everyone and welcome to the first ever UCI Mountain Bike Enduro World Cup from the brand new venue of Medina Bike Park in Tasmania. It's a new era for top flight mountain bike racing and for many fans of the sport there isn't much that can whet the appetite like shiny new race bikes. Before racing gets underway on Sunday, we head into the pits to find some of the very fastest. <laughs> Alright, hi, my name is Jesse Melman and I'm riding for the Canyon Collective Enduro Team. I'm riding the Canyon Spectral in a size small with a slightly larger shock, so I'm running 160mm front and back. It's been really fun, so many new things to kind of test and try out, but I'm really liking kind of the, the fit of the bike, the geometry, getting on with it really well, and let's hope I can back that up this weekend. So new for me this year is DT Swiss wheels, which are kind of gold standard of wheel sets, and I'm on the 511s. Set up tubeless with Maxxis tires, double down, max grip, front and back. I'm running 20 PSI and 21 PSI. Suspension, rock shocks, fork is a Zeb. Running 65 PSI in it right now. Got 140 PSI in the shock. Uh, I've got the brand new SRAM Eagle transmission on. I'm particular about where everything is and it's not like it has to be perfect, but I know when it's wrong. The weirdest thing is probably my right brake is slightly angled up than my left brake and anyone else's brakes that I get on feel off to me, so it's probably the weirdest thing. This might take a couple of attempts, eh? <laughs> yeah. Three, two, one. I am Ella Conley and I ride for the Cannondale Enduro team. This is my Cannondale Jekyll in a size medium. So over the past few years, I have tried a few things actually. I've gone from a small to a medium. Um, we've tried mullet and I prefer full 29er, so I've stuck like that. And then we've done a lot of tuning of suspension as well. I'm running SRAM Axis on this bike, um, 32 tooth chain ring and 52 tooth cassette, which is nice for climbing. I'm running the new code brakes as well and 175 millimeter dropper post. I've got a one-up cockpit here, 35mm stem and 35mm rise handlebars with the very handy little tool. I'm running the RockShox Zeb Ultimate as well. Um, I have 55 PSI, no tokens, um, a few clicks of high speed compression and a few clicks of low speed compression and 11 clicks of rebound. I've got my Super Deluxe Ultimate Coil um, with a pretty fast rebound this year, which feels really nice and reactive on the trails. I'm really, really particular about my suspension setup. So I could tell even if there was like one or two clicks of compression wrong or like a couple of PSI, especially in the forks, I'd yeah, really feel that. I've got 19 PSI in the front and 23 PSI in the rear with a lightweight insert for this race as well. It's pretty rocky out there, so I think that would be important. The coolest thing about this bike is the high pivot. Like the Jekyll just eats up all those rocks, especially on bike park trails like this. Like it feels like a monster truck. It's really cool. I am Melanie Pugin and I ride for we ride the Fulgur team. Um, this is my bike for uh, all this season. The size of the bike is uh, small for me, with uh, two wheels in a 29 uh, size. Uh, travel of uh, both is uh, 117. Uh, the pressure on uh, my fork is 60-60 uh, PSI, and um, this um, coil is uh, 240. If uh, the track is uh, different, I uh, change a uh, lot uh, high speed and uh, low speed. Now my brake, uh, it's a uh, flat, not so much uh, steep, but uh, I uh, like when uh, my brake is uh, near my uh, underbar because I have a little uh, <laughs> fingers. Yeah, well this is the Specialized Enduro. The suspension is such a key part of any bike setup. So we do do quite a lot of work. We got a timing system over the off season and we were lapping with that, trying to dial it in. Basically we're trying to make that back wheel a little bit more active so you can get more grip onto the ground because there's quite a few braking bumps and flat corners. So yeah, I have a, usually quite like an aggressive style. So I like to have a bit of ramp in the front and the rear. So I've got two tokens in the front and two tokens in the shock, just so we get a nice ramp up in that air volume. We're about 72 PSI in the front and 200 PSI in the rear. Yeah, it's a bit unique, the, the grip and bar end setup. So these things, I've been running them last season after a finger injury and they've been protecting my fingers from trees and rocks. 
just paired up with the rental grip. We've just done a little bit of modification and like paired it together. So that's full custom. And then also go for a custom cut on the shifter. So Tom just shaves that down so it doesn't hit the grip. And I can run it really close. So, you know, if you come out of a corner and need to pedal, you can get straight onto the shifter. So I'm really particular about my brakes. For being somebody from the UK, I run them Euro. So my right hand is my back brake. But I also run different bite points and different angles. And once they're mint, that's it. Don't touch them and I'm happy. This is a size small and it's a full 29er. I run Fox suspension front and rear. I run a 36 up front rather than the bigger 38, just for a bit more flexible feel. I run full Shimano XTR in the brakes and in the shifting. I've got a 32 chain ring and I've got Saint pedals. I'm running the Cryptotal on the front and the rear in downhill casing. And I run ODI grips with no waffle because I've got wee hands. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Josh Carlson. I ride for the Giant Factory Off-Road Team. We're currently down in Medina, Tasmania for the first round of the UCI Enduro World Cup. So here in my 2023 Rain Advanced Pro Edition bike, I've got a large frame. The brand new technology has flip chip in the back here so you can go from high, mid and low. What that does, it can lower your bottom bracket or raise your bottom bracket up. It also allows you to run a 27.5 rear wheel. Keeps the bottom bracket up nice and high. I feel quite comfortable in the corners and on the steep stuff. I've got a 180 Fox 38 fork up front. I've got a Fox X2 out back, which is 160 mil travel. Been playing around with my setup a little bit here in Medina. So I've went up a little bit firmer in my fork to just give me a little bit more support, but I've got my compressions quite open. I run my pressures on this bike at about 25 PSI in the front and 28 in the back. Uh, coming up to my cockpit, I've just raised my cockpit up a little bit here in Medina. So I've went up a further five mil. On top of my XDR levers, I've got my Barkbusters hand guards. It's quite tight in here and there's plenty of trees and it only takes one little smack of your knuckle to either destroy your knuckle or throw you offline. So I quite like my hand guards. So I'm Morgan Shah and I ride for Pivot Factory Racing. I'm on the Pivot Firebird 29er and small size. We've been on that frame since uh, 2021. I used to ride the low position on it. We've got two positions. And this winter I changed for the high position where like, I feel a bit more confident in the corners. I'm riding the Fox 38 factory in the front and X2 in the back. I'm on Shimano XTR drivetrain, like uh, cranks, derailleur, everything. Continental crypto tire front and rear tires. I run 21 PSI in the back and 19 in the front. Since last year, I've been running a Panzer, like a tire insert in the, in the rear since I had a flat tire in Sugarloaf and I couldn't <laughs> ride down. So now it's, uh, I'm used to it and it feels really good. I've got a rental cockpit Shimano XTR brake. I'm riding 76 PSI in the fork with two volume spacers and then compressions like fairly open and ribbon like kind of in the middle and then in the shock I'm 150 psi 148 150 yeah sometimes one volume spacer sometimes two depending on like the venues always on flats I tried I tried clips a few years ago but didn't really like it so yeah I'm just used to flats and I love them coolest thing on my back I feel like it's the paint job I really love this bike. Uh, it's the same paint jump as I used for the end of last season. I got a little bee. <laughs> Hello viewers, I am Jack Moyer. I ride for the YT Mob and I'm on a YT Capra XL. Have rock shock suspension. We've got a Zeb up front. I'm running it in 180. It's got one token and 70 PSI. I've gone to a coil in the rear shock. I normally run an air, but the long runs here in Medina um, and the, uh, the real chattery rough tracks, I've decided to swap to a coil. Got the Maxxis Asagai downhill casing up the front with 25 PSI. On the rear, have the DHR2 2.4 wide and it's 28 PSI. I've got hand guards on, which I don't know if they'll actually do anything, but <laughs> after breaking my hand, I thought maybe they might help. Look at it, the red rocket. There we have it then, lots of exciting new machinery to enjoy this weekend at the first ever UCI mountain bike Enduro World Cup. 
here from Medina Bike Park. Don't forget to tune in throughout the weekend as we prepare to go racing once more in Tasmania.